Alright guys, uh, had a problem where my lawnmower battery was going dead and basically figured out that the system wasn't charging. Um, what we're looking at here is your basic Briggs & Stratton engine. That's the voltage regulator and over here what I've done is taken and connected a uh, set of voltmeter leads to the battery. So that's this voltmeter. You see it's reading battery voltage and then we're going to use this other voltmeter on this side for our diagnosis. Um, system's pretty simple. Basically up underneath the flywheel, uh, the flywheel itself's got magnets in it. Magnets spin over some coils, the coils generate a voltage and the voltage comes out these two wires here. Then they go into the voltage regulator, it takes that AC voltage and turns it into DC and it pushes it out here and that goes to the battery. So um, I'm going to reset and show you how to uh, make sure that you, this wire has got uh, connection to the battery and then we'll go from there. Okay, I've disconnected the output lead from the voltage regulator to the wire that goes to the battery and put my, ohm, or my voltmeter probe in it. The other probe's just grounded to the engine there. So right now you'll see that uh, even though we got battery voltage, of course on the battery side, we don't have battery voltage on the wire going to the battery to charge it. So what we're going to do is turn the key on, look back over here, and now we have battery voltage. So we know that the connection that the charge is going to go through, the wire the charge is going to go through, is good. And now we're just going to trace it forward to see what's going on. Okay, I've changed the vo voltmeter over to a AC scale. What we're going to do is start the engine up, and we're going to make sure that we've got uh, voltage, AC voltage coming out from underneath the flywheel. Um, if you've got AC voltage and you've got a good wire going back to the battery, of which I think there's some of these models have like a fuse in line somewhere, so you always need to look for that fuse. But we've already checked and made sure we've got a good one. So if we've got AC volts coming in to the voltage regulator and we've got a way to get the DC out, it should be good. So let's see what the AC does first. Okay, so you saw with the engine revved up, we were getting about 26 volts, so we know we got plenty of AC volts. Now I'll hook it up to the different regulators and show you how they act and why you really can't, at least with my meters, you can't trust what the output is. Okay, got the uh, stator hooked back up to the bad regulator, and I'm going to fire it up. This is now going to be on a DC scale because we're looking for a DC output. And with the same RPM, we'll uh, probe here with the engine running and see what we get. hook up to the good regulator and show you what that shows. Here we go. Alright, so the good regulator only showed four tenths of a volt, which is strange, but uh, um, got to be something with the way it went bad so uh, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little jumper in here and then um, we'll be able to read the actual voltage with the battery in line so we'll do that and I'll show you what we got alright so now we've got the alternator hooked into the bad regulator here's the wire, power wire coming out got a little jumper in here I'm going to connect to so we can read battery voltage and we'll fire it up, show you what the bad regulator does first, and then I'll go ahead and uh, shut it off and we'll check the good rate regulator next.
All right, so basically all we got is battery voltage there. I'm gonna switch the regulators and we'll do it again. Okay, stator's hooked to the bottom regulator, which is a good regulator. We're teed into this wire going back to the battery and we're gonna fire it up. Alright, well I think you get the uh, gist of the deal. Um, looks like we're charging pretty hard on that battery because I've been cranking on it a lot. But anyway, there's about a bolt and a half drop through that wire. Considering the length of it and the size, that's I guess not uh, surprising. But anyway, you can see how that jumped up above battery voltage. We were getting 15 volts here and actually getting about 13.8 back at the battery. So um, check your stator output. If you got stator output and if you got a good uh, good wire back to the battery it's got to be the voltage regulator hope this video helps you and have a great day bye all right just a little bonus footage uh well i had my amp meter here i thought i'd see what the output is on this alternator i think it's supposed to be 16 amps max but uh be interesting to see what it's actually putting out All right, that's almost 12 amps, and that's uh, pretty close to max. So uh, again, that much amperage down that little wire. Not surprised where there's a voltage drop at the other end. You guys, have a good day. Bye.